Let's write the add method together, and then I'll leave it to you to do the rest of them. So the purpose of this method is to add this letter to the bag. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the letter to lowercase. So string lower equals letter dot to lowercase. The next thing I got to do is I have to figure out which is the right index in my frequency array to increase. So uh, I've told you that often when you're planning programs, it's nice to just assume that the methods that you want to exist actually do exist. So I'm going to assume it exists. I'm going to say get index for letter, and then I'm going to give it the letter. So let's just pretend that gives me the index I want. Now I can say letter frequencies index plus plus. So I'm going to increase the frequency of that index. All right, so that problem solved. Now I just have to figure out how to get the index for a letter. So I'll create that method. That's why I created this alphabet string up here. In the alphabet string, I can get, it, it's got each letter one at a time, and I can just search for the first occurring index of a particular letter. And because a string is indexed starting at zero, and those indexes match the same indexes I want for my array, it should end up being the same. So I can use the string method to find an index, and that I can just use that index as the correct one for my array here. So I'm just going to return alphabet dot index of the letter. So again, I'm asking the string, what's the first occurring index of the letter I'm interested in? I return that, and I can use that as the index uh, for the array that I want to increase the frequency of. Okay, so what doesn't it like here? Cannot convert string to int? Oh, of course, how silly of me. So these are supposed to be letter frequencies. So in fact, they're not strings, they're integers because I'm counting how many times does each one happen. Okay, great. So before you implement these methods, you if you're not absolutely sure in your head, you don't see how the algorithm is going to go, remember, sketch it out in pseudocode. If I'm getting the total number of words, think, how can you get that piece of information using that array? Or if you want to introduce other variables here um, to keep track of the things that you want to keep track of, that's also okay. All right, good luck.